Cancer. Thank you so much for coming to your love reading. I'm back and I'm excited. Um, I have to take a little break just to kind of like get my mojo going again. Cancer, you know, you guys are a crab. You guys go in the show. Um, okay, with that being said, I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I just kind of wanted a little bit more free flowing and less structured because I feel like we get more info that way. And those, um, those questions usually get turned around the same day. Usually. Okay. All right, Cancer, let's just go into it. I'm going to ask for um, the Oracle cards first. That's how we're going to start off. And then we'll get into the reading. So what messages do you have for Cancer with love and romance? Cancer and love and romance right now. What messages do you have for Cancer with love and romance? Okay. Amazing. So, Cancer. I feel like you've gone through a period where it's almost like somebody was in your head and mentally, and I feel like even solely or like spiritually, like I feel like there's something that feels or felt broken for some reason. And I feel like right now during this time period, it's extremely important to ground your energy and also meditate. Okay. And I'm saying that because we have ground your light as well as meditation. And I feel like if you're, if you're someone who's not good at meditating, like I was never great at meditating, it takes practice, right? It takes practice to clear your mind. It takes practice to clear the energy. I feel like right now you have a lot of expansion that is coming. However, I feel like for some reason, your third eye right now, it's blocked. And I think that somebody is definitely in your head and fucking with you mentally. And I think that it's time to flip it. And I feel like once you ground your energy and you meditate, I feel like your intuition is going to be back on point. And I also feel like there is a level of expansion that's coming. But first, you have to be in a place to be able to receive, right? If you guys have all this heavy energy on you or things that are in your way that's blocking it, right? You can't receive. You're not mentally, emotionally, spiritually uh, ready to receive some type of blessing, right? And that blessing is not going to come if you're not on that vibration. So that's why it's important that if you want expansion, if you want clarity, you have to actively take part in that, which I feel like you guys definitely can do. All right, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Like I said before, I'm just going to uh, read the cards as they come out pertaining to messages about your current situation. Flip it if it needs to be flipped. It's up to you guys, okay? All right, what is what messages do you have for Cancer when it comes to love and romance? Messages for Cancer with love and romance. Okay, we have the Sun, the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. Some of you may definitely be dealing with a Leo or a Taurus or an Aquarius. Um... Mercury and Taurus, Aquarius moon. Here's what I'm gathering. I feel like there's a lot that you don't know. And I feel like there is something that you want to shine light on, or you feel that there's something going on in the relationship. It makes you happy. However, with the six of pentacles here and the seven of swords, Somebody's definitely leaving out some type of information. And I also feel like somebody is sneaking around. And for some reason, the sun with the seven of swords, I get a very sexual energy. So I don't know if this is a uh, an intimate issue. Like maybe your person is somebody that just likes to play with people on the side. Maybe this person is giving to somebody else. But either way, I, I feel like on the outside looking in, you look very happy, but on the inside, I feel like you don't feel good about it. I feel like there's a level of depression and there's a level of like, why can't this work? And I also feel like on your person's side, there's so much that they're hiding. I feel like there's a level of gaslighting too, like start, stop, start, stop, that it's, it's like they feel guilty about something like a hundred percent, like there's something going on here about what was not said, what's been hidden, what's been done behind the scenes. Like somebody's definitely sneaking around and I feel like they're slow to communicate with you right now with the six of pentacles. Um, 
and the Seven of Swords, and it's because they're doing things behind the scenes, right? Okay. You get some more messages for you guys. Okay. We have the Three of Cups, the King of Swords, and the World Reverse. With the King of Pentacles Reverse. All right. So we have two kings here, first, first and foremost. Um, here's what I'm gathering. I feel like somebody's lied about some type of past situation, okay? There's some type of information that was given, maybe even pertaining to this person being in a committed relationship, and it wasn't true. I feel like there's lies here, right? King of Pentacles reverse with the world reverse. There's information that was given that was incorrect. There's also a cycle here that has not exactly been finished or broken, and that's paired with the Three of Cups and the King of Swords. So some of you may, like I said, Taurus or Leo. Um, you have Cap I mean Capricorn, um, also Virgo. You also have Aquarius here and Leo. I feel like for you, Cancer, you're at the point right now where you're very defensive, right? About everything that this person is communicating because I feel like you view this person as a liar. I think you're like, what else have you lied about? And I also feel like for you too, this person may have even lied about having a child with somebody else. Um, this person, I feel like plays games and I feel like this person kind of does what they want for their own game. That's something I'm gathering very strongly. I also feel like your person may be having some type of financial issues and I feel like the financial issues are coming cancer because there could be, um, you know, they're focused or worried about the wrong thing, right? They're not focused on what they should be focused on. They're worried about everything else besides that. And just to say for you, I feel like there's frustration and I feel like there's a level of anger and I feel like you're jumping ahead before that person hits you. It's almost like you're trying to be one step ahead of this person. Okay, can you make some more information? So I am gathering too. It's funny, Gemini had this as well. Ten of Wands reversed or Ten of Wands is upright, never mind. And how does Cancer feel about this? Okay. Here's also what I'm gathering. I feel like for some of you, there is a level of time that's being put in between you and your person and it's allowing your person to figure out like exactly what they want, right? Temperance is the emperor and the empress when they consummate their marriage or when they, they're stripped of all their impurities, right? And they're merged together as one. And I feel like with your person right now, I feel like they're getting ready to fight for you. Like, I don't feel like they're going to let that go. And I feel like they're going to be very vocal about expressing what they want and letting you know where you stand with them. I also feel like too, there is some type of message that's coming in about letting something go. Maybe something that this person has been carrying for a period of time. Like there's something that's being released. There's something that's being let go of. And I feel like that was some type of karmic situation or some type of karmic challenge that your uh, person is going through. And I also feel like your person now understands cancer, what they want or who they want to move forward with, which is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple of more cards um, and these are done with twin flame messages. These cards, they're beautiful. Um, also too, just to let you guys know, um, you can book a personal reading with me and also uh, there will be an extended at the end of the reading where we go over everything pertaining to your partner what's coming in for you, what's your advice, um, how do they feel, just everything in general, okay? Can you give me messages, please, for what Cancer's person wants to communicate to them? What, what messages do you want Cancer to know that their person has not vocalized that they want to give Cancer? Messages for Cancer, please, their person of interest romantically. Messages for Cancer, please, for their person of interest romantically. Okay. 
okay? Your, your person is very, um, I feel like very closed off. Okay. So here's what's going on. I feel like this person was in a relationship or maybe this is even a divorce situation for some of you guys where maybe you left somebody, but there's definitely some type of separation here, whether it's your person separating from their person or you separating from them. And here's what I'm gathering. Um, your person is trying to forget about um, you, to be honest. I feel like they've spent time trying to forget, but the problem is they think about all the time that you've spent with one another. And I think that when they look in the mirror, they know like you cancer made them want to become a better person. And the one thing I've noticed about cancers is cancers tend to date people that they need to assist or they need to help with. So a lot of times cancers will date people that have emotional problems, mommy problems, those kind of things, or like emotional issues, right? And I feel like cancer goes in and you heal those, right? So when people try to take a step back from you, they realize what an impact you've made on their life. And I feel like for your person, they, you and this person may have done this back and forth for a period of time. However, I feel like they didn't think that you guys would not be speaking for this long or this period of time. And I think it's becoming to be difficult for them because wherever they're going, they're constantly being reminded of you. There are songs that are being played. I feel like you're consuming their thoughts. For some of them, I feel like they want to say like, hey, I'm getting the help. Some of them are filing the divorce. Some of them are going to therapy. Some of them are talking to their friends. Because right now, I feel like they're going through things. I think that this person is having this aha moment with what needs to be done and what they really want in life. And for whatever reason, I feel like when it comes to you, they now understand, I'm wide awake right now, they now understand that you, Twin Flames, okay, uh, that they've never felt like that with anyone in their life because you hit a part of their soul that they've never felt before. And I also feel like your person is definitely driving by your house. Your person is definitely stalking you. Your person's on social media. They're doing the most.com because they're very fixated on what you are doing, Cancer. So, you guys, that's your reading. Let me know if you like the new flow in the, uh, in the comments. With that being said, Cancer, I love you guys so much. And I hope that you have an amazing, amazing uh, month. And I will talk to you next time. Peace out, Girl Scout.